Okay, so um, it's going to be just a quick rundown. I'm going to tear apart one of my ZMR 250s. It's got a blown out PCB in it, PDB, and uh, replace it with the good old onto that Maytech PDB that I did the little tiny review on before. So there we go. Quick one on that. We'll do a quick tear down, quick put together. Edit the video down to a few minutes. Thomas. Okay, see you back here soon. Okay, putting the MarTech board down. Um, as you can see, I've got strain relief everywhere. So I've gone crazy. But at the moment, no matter what I pull on, doesn't affect any movement whatsoever in the PDB. Okay, so the power distribution board is well tied down. I've got a 12 volt coming out, also tied down, that's for the transmitter. Just with a JST on the end of that. I've stripped my Flip32 board out of its plastic case. And we're going to put that down on there. Alright, so that's ready to be screwed down. Okay, so, as you can see, I've got the... Uh, power board mounted in there, everything's now put back together. Been a nice build, it's been easy to do with that Maytech PDB. Um, I do recommend it so far. With the nice little spaces I've put between it and the Flip32 board, which is running clean flight. It's worked out quite well. There's just enough room to with the um, straight pins, there's just enough room to still get those servo header pins in there, get them on. That's worked out okay. We'll just give it some power. You can see the legs that come on. Okay, so see that in there we've got two red LEDs one for the 12 volt side and one for the 5 volt side and there will be an e easy access to the nice bright LEDs on the control board now that I don't have a brown cover over it and it's sitting in there naked 